Now, the possibility of a disruption to Middle East oil supplies has, of course, renewed interest in domestic oil production, as well as getting natural gas out of the ground in the United States. Domestic producers, they're thriving. Well, my next guest can shed a little bit more light on what's going on in the industry. John Schiller is the chairman and chief executive of Energy 21. Energy 21 is an oil and natural gas explorer and producer. The company operates in the Gulf of Mexico and along the Gulf Coast. The stock up about 22 percent so far this year. John, great to have you with us. Thanks so much for joining us. So what here. is the update? I know that, you know, one of the things that you have done at Energy 21 partnering with McMoran Exploration. We're talking deep, deep water Gulf of Mexico. You guys are back in business. Yeah, it's, you know, we've, we've got a partner with McMoran. Jim Bob Moffat had the, the, the geological knowledge to go play the, some plays very deep. So we're drilling wells, 33,000 feet. We're drilling for the Wilcox, which has been a structure, sands found both onshore and in the deep water, and the play is working very good for us. Right now, we've actually got a well, Davy Jones, uh, that we're drilling below 30,000 feet looking for the Tuscaloosa sands, which have never been found in the Gulf of Mexico. Big play back up shore, you know, by Baton Rouge and Louisiana. Besides uh, probably keeping you up uh, late at night, what did the moratorium on drilling in the Gulf of Mexico do to the company in terms of how it explores, how it drills, how it deals with safety issues in the future? Well, you know, our, our business has always been very safety conscious. We're a little bit different animal because we drill on the shelf. We can see and touch our blowout preventers. They're above the water. They're not below the water. So we know we all took a hard look inside at our procedures and what we were doing. We felt that the administration would come around and say, okay, drilling on the shelf is a little bit different animal than drilling in deep water. Did they recognize they that? They did recognize. You remember they lifted the moratorium yes. earlier for us, uh, and we've been back to drilling, and, 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 and at least at our company, we've been able to get the permits to drill the wells we want to drill. A little bit slower, more documentation. Uh, you know, we have to com make sure all our BOPs are in compliance before we use them. But the, the pro it's working. We're drilling wells and we're finding oil. Tell me about the deal you struck with Exxon, because right. that really has changed the profile of Energy 21. It really has. And we thought it was a transforming acquisition when we did it. Uh, a great group of old, mature oil fields that, you know, frankly, the play for us is to become behind, to come behind Exxon and, and find some barrels that are more expensive than what Exxon's average finding cost is, but still allow us to make a lot of money. We don't have the same overhead. We can operate them cheaper. And so far, we've been very happy with the results. Um, we've already done a couple of non-rig workovers that bring on 1,400 barrels a day, spending less than half a million dollars. So it's every bit as good as we thought. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to sustain organic growth for us for three to five more years. We've got a lot of opportunities in those assets. Tell me about hedges right now, because many times we talk about hedges in the gold industry, gold mining, people getting rid of their hedges. Now you got rid of the hedges. And oil is $110 a barrel. That right. must be good for you. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 people forget when we bought Exxon, oil was at $80. That's right. And so as it's gone up, we've actually put some $99 swaps on some of the production. We've got collars at 90 and 110 So all of that's working pretty good. Back in October, we actually took off all our gas edges uh, at about $50 million cash in the bank. And we've rode the gas curve back up. We put on a little bit of hedges to protect Exxon stuff. Uh, but for the most part, we've got a lot of production hedge. Uh, in the last few days when the market craters, they don't really look whether you're hedged or not. They, everybody gets hit the same way. But when the dust settles on the correction, we've got a lot of cash flow protected. It's a very nice number. I'm glad you mentioned the word cash flow because I want to just check in with you. Cash available to make all these deals work, to continue the drilling program. You've got the capital to do it? We're going to spend $400 million in our next fiscal year, 340 this year, which ends June 30th. And we're still going to have over $200 million in free cash flow off the assets. When commodities where they are, it's probably higher than that. And the other thing about the hedges is, for, remember, we get a differential much closer to Brent than we do to WTI down on the Gulf Coast because we're selling losing in a light suite. That's right, because it's easier to refine. It's easier to refine, and the refiners can't get oil out of Cushing. So, you know, we're, we're competing with waterborne crude for our prices. So. so we're talking about maybe $125 a barrel versus just 110 It's a nice month this month. I want to thank you very much. As always, John Schiller, uh, Chief Executive Chairman of Energy 21, uh, giving us some real detailed information about what's going on in the energy world. Thank you very much. Appreciate thank you for it. having us.